When you've just moved into your dream house that's blocks from the beach, surely there will be visitors lined up to stay. Today on Ready, Set, Renovate, we see how a backyard makeover and brand new guest house ensure one homeowner will always be in good company. When James West purchased this 1,200 square foot home, he had a very clear vision for it. Almost an empty nester now. All your kids are off and working or they're in college. And so this is sort of your retreat, but you want it to be? It'll be my last home. Yeah. Right? But it, I want it to be a place uh, that the kids can bring, come and visit or bring their, eventually bring their kids. So, you know, a golf cart ride to the beach and a pool in the back. I think that'll draw. I think so too. <laughs> The construction team spent 10 months reinventing this 1970s house, tearing down a poorly built laundry room and creating a 150 square foot addition for a new master suite. Leaving almost nothing in the existing part of the home untouched, they replaced all the electrical and plumbing so James wouldn't run into any major repairs down the road. James also decided to add insulation to the entire house and expose the wooden trusses for a more open feel all expensive and time-consuming upgrades. I, I went through a mode um, with the house, so it's like halfway through it, I say, like, gosh, if I knew then what I knew now, I would just torn the house down. And, but now at this point, I'm so happy I did not tear the house down. It exceeded my expectations for sure. The master bedroom um, is, is probably, well, it's the largest room in the house. and. Uh, you know, the two places I'm going to spend most time is this kitchen and there. And uh, I just, since moving in, it's just, it's really relaxing and I've enjoyed it. It already feels like home. With the inside complete, James is heading outside for phase two of the renovation. Oh, James. This is a mess. It's a project. Oh, where do you begin? One day at a time. <laughs> all right, so what's the plan? This will all be gone. This will be a pool. Okay. And then the in-law suite in the corner. And you are spending a lot of money back here. Eventually, the pool is going to go in. So that's thirty-five grand. you have got the in-law suite that's going to be part of the backyard as well. Yeah, you know what? But money well spent for the family. I want to be comfortable. I want it to be nice and enjoyable. You know, I want the outdoor to be big enough to where if I want to have 100 people over, I can do that. With a timeline of three months and a budget of $80,000, James chose wood frame for the small guest house. With the slab in place, the team makes quick work of the main framing. The new structure will total 600 square feet with a small living area, kitchen, and bathroom, as well as a one-car garage. With the guest house coming along, it's time to get started on the pool. And what I'm trying to do, the concept is a courtyard effect with the, with the pool house yep. and the pool. So, it all. Um, like we discussed earlier, um, can you give me a, just an idea how, how the shape of the pool is going to be in the layout? Basically, we're trying to maximize the pool in the area that you have. Um, and we did that using a freeform shape. So you're going to kind of walk up. Obviously, you got the pool house here, a nice sun shelf right here where you can sit in and leads down into the steps. And then that's your main deep end over there. Okay. And then you'll have a swimming path right through here, which I think will be a nice amenity. And how deep did, did we discuss the pool's going to be? It looks like it is uh, four foot and a half, about four foot and a half. Okay. Um, so three to four, it'll be a nice gradual. So, so is that the average depth of pools these, these days? These days it is. Okay. You used to see them back in the day, they'd build a 10 foot deep pool and right. then nowadays with the cost of the extra concrete and everything, you can get just as wet in a four and a half foot pool as you can in okay. an eight foot. Makes sense. Even with a depth of less than five feet, digging the pool is a massive job. Getting the excavator around the narrow access point on the side of the house is the first challenge. The second hurdle pops up a couple of feet below the surface. This tangle of large roots will need to be totally cleared before the team can make any real progress. With the arduous task of digging out the new pool behind him, contractor Eric Cliff can get started on the build. 
So you're at the stage where the rebar is still exposed, which is, that's what this is yes, for homeowners who don't yep. know. And explain the process. You, you put the steel in first and then you pour concrete around it, right? Yeah, we put the steel in on a, uh, it's engineered to be on a 12 by 12 grid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we do also have seven irons at the top where we bend the steel over, which gives a, an eight inch bomb beam at the top. Okay, so it's steel, concrete, steel, concrete, all the way through the bottom of that's the pool. That's correct. We got the pool dug, the, um, the steel is in the pool. We do already have an inspection. We got our main drain, our channel drain in the pool. Our um, skimmer's already installed. So our next step is to get the gunite shot in, which will be here in a couple of days. Right. And we'll get that going and that'll give us a stable shell so we can move on from there. So let's talk about the fun stuff now. Okay. What's it gonna look like? What's the aesthetic here? Okay, we're gonna have um, a uh, tile border, a nice ceramic tile border to be mm -hmm. kind of like a bluish tile with a blend of colors in it. And then it will also have a uh, coping, a concrete um, uh, paver coping with the, the color is cappuccino, I believe. Okay. And then the interior finish is gonna be a pebble interior finish, okay. uh, which does give them a lifetime warranty on the interior finish also. Oh, that's great. So basically, you know, never have to resurface the pool for quite a long time. Also have an LED light in the wall over there, which will give illumination at night. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. So from a curb appeal perspective, when you drive by, you're gonna see, you know, a multi-million dollar home. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hart from Ready, Set, Renovate, here today with my good friend Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Tat, you're always bringing us great information, but today you have great deals. We do. We have a great deal today. Thanks to one of our manufacturers, they're giving us a tremendous upgrade opportunity for everyone who moves forward with a window project and moves forward with an energy efficient glass pack. They're going to upgrade it at no additional charge with a free sound and security glass pack. So it's a tremendous value. If we call now, we can still have time to get installed for this season. Hey everybody, we're here today with Tat Granada again from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Welcome back, Tat. Great to see you. Great seeing you again. So you guys are here on a window install today and we're in town. So this homeowner isn't concerned about hurricane impact, but they are concerned about safety and energy efficiency. Yeah, those were the key points when we met with this family that they really wanted us to try to address. Um, because of the association, we had to meet the requirements to stick with a bronze color frame. So it limited our choices a little bit and we ended up going with a great product from Custom Window Systems that's going to really help them achieve the energy efficiency they are looking for as well as uh, the security they also wanted. We have a dedicated uh, department of our company so to handle all associations throughout Florida. So uh, when it comes to a bronze frame, we know exactly the type of products that we can uh, suggest to the homeowners to exactly fit what the requirements are going to be for the association. So we have the old window over here. Your crew has already removed it and you can actually see some significant differences between this one and the new window that's going into place. This is an aluminum frame. Yeah, absolutely. This was the original uh, window that was put in the home when the home was built. And it's an aluminum frame, so it's not going to give you the energy efficiency that they wanted. Uh, it's going to conduct the heat throughout the frame. Also, it was just a single pane piece of glass, so there was no energy efficiency in the glass pack. And there's certainly no protection for security as well. Right. So over here we have the new window, and this is a vinyl frame, so it's yep. very long lasting. And the beautiful part about this is because you want something sturdy, you want something strong that's also safe, but you want something that looks good. And so you have the color requirement on the outside, but then the homeowner gets their color of choice, which is white for the trim on the inside. Yeah, they wanted to go with the white on the interior just because it brightens up the room a little bit, but we had to meet the requirement on the exterior. Also, the great thing about this product is it comes with a lifetime warranty, so they're never going to have to replace it again. Uh, if anything, it's guaranteed against fading or discoloring or anything. Well worth the money. Yep. All right. Thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. The Hyundai Elantra can read your text out loud, keeping your eyes where it matters most. Now lease an Elantra for only $169 a month or get up to $2,600 cash back. Hurry in today. Mom, could you get me a towel? I don't want to drip all over the floors. No, you're good. Waterproof floors. It's just one of the reasons Flooring America is where friends send friends. And now it's our Get It Your Way flooring sale. Choose how to save on flooring that fits your lifestyle, like waterproof downs, H2O hard surface, and rival by Resista and Tigressa H2O carpets. People actually believe that I attacked the White House. I need people I can trust if you want me to bring her down. They better catch her. Supergirl is innocent. 
Where is Supergirl? The government wants to stop me from helping people. Let them try. Supergirl. All new tonight at 8, 7 central on The CW. You have no idea what they are capable of. Charm, tonight at 9, 8 central. No matter what size adventure you're into, the Hyundai family of SUVs has something for everyone. Now, for only $189 a month, lease a new Tucson or Kona, the 2019 North American Utility Vehicle of the Year. Hurry in today. With the new pool starting to take shape in the backyard, the team shifts focus to the next project. Originally, James was going to use a fiber cement siding, but instead he's decided on a very different look. James has totally made a change um, for the better, and it's he's gone to cedar shakes. So he's actually, instead of using cedar shakes as an accent, which most people do um, because of the cost factor, now he's gone and he's actually doing the complete sides of the home across the front of the house, as well as the front of the pool house. Well, we're probably adding about ten to $15,000 to, to make that happen. Yeah, the advantages are um, it's maintenance free. You know, when you talk about what do I have to do to my home now, and since we're so close to the beach, you don't do anything. You pressure wash it every now and then, and that's it. It's the color, you don't paint it, you don't do anything to the cedar shake. It just weathers and looks beautiful. From a curb appeal perspective, when you drive by, you're gonna see, you know, a multi-million dollar home. With dry, mild weather expected for the next few days, the team can start working on the shell of the pool. First, they set up plastic sheeting to protect the house from overspray. Next, they apply a mixture of cement and sand called gunite through a high-pressure hose. The mixture is dry until right before it exits the hose. That's when water and other liquid binders are added to help make a firm paste. The gunite is applied in layers, and the team uses trowels to make sure the pool walls, steps, and floor are even and well-shaped. When the final layers of gunite are smoothed out, the shell will need several days to cure to prevent cracks in the future. In the meantime, the team can start installing the windows and doors in the guest house. With only 600 square feet, tons of natural light will make this space feel bigger and feature beautiful views from every angle. James Guest will also be just a few steps away from a refreshing dip in the new pool. With all the major construction work over with, James can start thinking about the landscaping. He wants to keep everything low maintenance and find the perfect spot for his longtime companions. So James, the backyard is coming together. You're gonna have a lot of cool things back here. And these babies are gonna take center stage, right? They are gonna be on display for sure. These are staghorn plants. Staghorns. Some people may not know what they are. What uh, are they? It's an, an air plant and basically um, a tropical air plant that grows on the bark or in the nooks of trees or attaches to a tree, but it, it grows in the air. And you've had these for Thir not just years, decades. Approximately 32 years, I think. Wow. Yeah. It all started from one plant, and these have grown so much that where they've split. So um, I've got four plants, four kids, so I'm figuring <laughs> when I go, each of the kids get one of the plants. <laughs> That's a great idea. This has really been a lifelong commitment, I guess, with yeah, these plants, sure. huh? Yeah, a good hobby. Landscape architect Samuel Andrade has something special planned for the staghorns. So they're really important to him, and he, he wants to have a prominent place for them in the backyard. So you guys are actually custom designing yes. a frame. Yes, it's going to be uh, three posts and one in horizontal, and it's going to hold the weight because they're very heavy. How much do they weigh? Uh, I don't know, probably about 60 pounds. If they're dry, okay. wet, probably more than 100 pounds. Wow. So, yeah, so we have to hold that weight. Right. So we're going to put four of them, different heights, and this is going to be the entire background for the backyard. Okay. And we're going to light them up from the bottom wow. and the side. So uh, during the night, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to look really good. You have issues with permeability and draining and all of that because we are so close to the beach. So the pavers actually are a good um, item to put in this particular setting. The pavers that we use on the driveway, it is the permeable pavers. Mm -hmm. So the water can drain to them. The pavers are made from concrete and called turf block. 
The team will fill the opening in the middle with light-colored rocks for a cool look and an incredibly low-maintenance yard. One of the final few projects is the pool coping. The neutral colored bricks are being laid to cap off the top edge, providing some contrast to the bright blue tile. In the front of the house, there's a new post coming together. It will help add interest to the front yard and house the controls for the automated fence. Signs of the finish line are everywhere, including inside the guest house. Today, the team is installing the kitchen cabinets. Using a rustic weathered looking wood will help bring in the beachy vibe of the main house, while the quartz countertop adds a bright modern touch that will be easy to clean. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate, that news arrives none too soon. Oh yeah, I'm exhausted at this point. No, I, I really am. Um, you know, it's like a marathon and the, the last mile is probably the hardest. Want a beautiful, stylish, and durable floor that lives up to life's real moments? Now's the perfect time to find it at Carpet One semi-annual flooring sale and clearance. Save $100, $250, even $500 store-wide on select hardwood, luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, and more. Featuring oak by Resistant Carpets, soft and lush, ultra tough and waterproof, with a 10-year no-exclusion stain warranty. The semi-annual flooring sale and clearance for a limited time only at Carpet One Floor and Home. Welcome to River City Live! We're going to talk about protecting your skin. We have a nutritionist on talking about great ideas but that are healthy and the kids will actually eat them. <laughs> I think that is worth sticking around to see for sure. Sounds like a great girl's night out. Uh, we're here at the River City Live family. We like to share two family four-packs to give away. Make sure, make sure that you say that you saw it on River City Live so that you can get that great deal. River City Live, weekdays at 11 on Channel 4. I'm a busy Jack's Beach mom. Every morning I do loads of laundry, I clean up a spill, and another, and another. I find matching pairs of shoes, and I have a battle of wills with my two-year-old. We know your mornings are hectic, but the morning show won't waste your time. Every morning, get the Weather Authority's bus stop forecast, overnight news from the National and World News Desk, and breaking news and traffic alerts from Sky 4. Yeah, I'm a busy Jack's Beach mom, and the morning show on Channel 4 makes mornings happen. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hart from Ready, Set, Renovate, here today with my good friend Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Tat, you're always bringing us great information, but today you have great deals. We do. We have a great deal today. Thanks to one of our manufacturers, they're giving us a tremendous upgrade opportunity for everyone who moves forward with a window project and moves forward with an energy efficient glass pack. They're going to upgrade it at no additional charge with a free sound and security glass pack. So it's a tremendous value. If we call now, we can still have time to get it installed for this season. It's month number three of Jane's backyard renovation, and he's taking measures to ensure his investment doesn't end up underwater. Okay, so here's the big drainage dilemma right here. This has been a problem, right? Well, it's not a problem, but uh, it's the fix for a problem. So this is where all the uh, gutter and the overflow for the pool is gonna drain into the swale here on the side of the house. Building the drainage swale added several days work to the schedule and about $8,000 to the budget. James is hoping that was the last major hurdle. I'm exhausted at this point. No, I, I really am. Um, you know, it's like a marathon, and the, the last mile is probably the hardest. Well, the, the last mile, the finish line is in sight. Yes. It should be smooth sailing from here absolutely, on out. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right. With the drainage issues behind them, the landscaping team can finally focus on the aesthetic. Sam, I got to tell you, the first time I came to this house, James brought me out here in the backyard, and I thought, Oh no, this is never gonna look like anything. It was such a mess. I can guarantee this place is gonna look wonderful when we finish with it. Yeah. Yeah, the plans are great for the backyard. Well, it wasn't a huge backyard to begin with, but by the time they added the pool and then the mother-in-law suite over here, it had really shrunk to not a whole lot to work with. So you gotta be real creative with the landscaping. Oh yeah, for sure. But we're gonna create some space and it's all gonna work well. The landscaping team is also starting on the torn up yard today. It wasn't in great shape to begin with, and after taking a beating from the construction work as well as Mother Nature, it sure isn't looking like the oasis James had in mind. 
So there was a little drama before this project even began. We had a hurricane come through here and it knocked a couple trees down. And Correct. number one, James is required to replace them. But number two, he wants to add some trees for the aesthetic appeal. Yes. So what we're going to do where the circular driveway is, right. we're going to add two oak trees that the city required. They are going to be around about uh, 15 to 16 foot tall. Oh, big and ones. And they're going to be about eight foot in diameter and about five inch in, 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 cali in caliber on the trunk. Okay. So they're going to be great. They're going to provide a lot of shade and, yeah. and also uh, the requirements for the city. This looks like a pretty major project. You have your guys out here leveling the dirt today. You still are contending with the irrigation, which you've got to go through inspections and do all that stuff. How long is it going to take you to finish this? Once we have the irrigation installed, we can install all the plants and the grass probably in three days. The backyard, uh, the pavers can be installed in a day um, and the plants also in another day. So for, for the entire project, if we can move like fluently for, with no stop, probably about an entire week I can have everything done. Oh, James will be glad to hear that. For project manager John Shepard, feedback from the neighbors has him feeling confident about his team's work. Along the way towards finishing, there were people coming up and asking if the house was for sale. So I think that speaks volumes in and of itself. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. I mean, this is the life, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it really is peaceful, um, uh, quiet, and you know, this is just our little Garden of Eden, really, to be honest with you. I'm JJ Hightail. As an ex-professional race car driver, I'm used to taking a few risks, which isn't always a good thing. Proof of insurance, please. That's why I'm insured by Direct Auto and Life Insurance. You can get a low rate no matter your credit. Call, click, or come in today. Joy and Tarek, only on Channel 4, the local station. Mom, could you get me a towel? I don't want to drip all over the floors. No, you're good. Waterproof floors. It's just one of the reasons Flooring America is where friends send friends. And now it's our Get It Your Way flooring sale. Choose how to save on flooring that fits your lifestyle, like Waterproof Downs H2O Hard Surface and Rival by Resista and Tigressa H2O Carpets. After starting with a 10-month overhaul on the inside of his 1970s home, James West decided to forge ahead and spend another three months building a pool and a guest house. Just like the interior of the home, working in an older beach community presented some challenges for the construction team. Putting in the gas tank to, for the propane, we uh, dug up the sewer line. Well, the sewer line must have been put in in the 1850s. It looked like it anyways. So those were the challenges, very much logistic oriented. Cedar Shake siding was a last minute upgrade. And once the beautiful new pavers and landscaping were finished, the team knew they had a winner. Along the way towards finishing, there were people coming up and asking if the house was for sale. So I think that speaks volumes in and of itself. And what did James say? Is it for sale? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one and done project for him. This is his life home. As you can see how beautiful it is, it is the life home. This is the life, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it really is peaceful, um, quiet, and you know, this is just our little Garden of Eden, really, to be yeah. honest with you. This may sound a little insulting, James, but I'm just gonna say it. This turned out way better than I thought it was gonna turn out. <laughs> From what you saw in the beginning, a, yeah. a little bit of a Sanford and Son backyard, <laughs> uh, I, I get it. Um, uh, but you know, it, it just took time, and, and I, I had the the vision for it. Mm -hmm. You needed a lot of vision because yeah. um, there was, I mean, there was basically nothing here. A that tree was, stump. There was a, a tree stump, and then there was a lot of junk. A tree stump, a broken hot tub, and a lot of junk. Yes, yes there was. <laughs> so just cleaning out that would have been an improvement. This place is maxed out to just have total enjoyment of this outdoor space. Tell me tell me about that TV over there. Well, so we got this the, the sunning area here in the pool. Right. And... Um, 
I was looking at that space and it was just kind of a wide open space and I thought, well, that'd be a great place to put a TV to watch a football game or right. a sporting event. You had a special piece of carpentry put together to hang yeah, your staghorns. Yeah, so we got the, we got the staghorns hung and we're, um, I kind of changed some of the backdrop to the staghorns, brought in some sugar palms to kind of just make it a little more tropical back here and just to make it a, a, a little more intimate. Mm -hmm. um, courtyard effect. So you can tend to your plants, which you love to do, but there's no grass back here, so there's no mowing, no, no, no lawn no maintenance. No grass, and then there's like very little grass out front, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. The guest house is tiny and adorable. Yeah, so it's small, but it's accommodating. It has a, a little microwave in there. Um, you know, I have family from out of town, you know, they can come down and stay and, mm -hmm. and not be a bother to me and, and we're not in their, in their way. And, um, you know, I, I, I wanted something small that would convert into a bedroom very easily. So we bought a little sofa that converts into a little full-size bed. And it's so it's self-contained. It's got its own AC, hot water, and its own bathroom. Do you find yourself spending a lot of time out here? Yes, I do. I really enjoy just being outside. Um, particularly in the evening, uh, taking care of the plants, mm -hmm. having a cocktail. <laughs> oh, I love the look. It's a beach look, a cottagey look. Um, it's interesting, all the, all the compliments I've been getting from the passersby, there's a lot of traffic coming to look at the house. Um, it's, it makes me feel good to see the people come by and want to see the house. I, you see so many remodels where you can tell it's been remodeled and I just, I want to make sure everything looks like it was meant to be there. You did an amazing job, James. We're so impressed, and we can't wait for your party whenever yep. you invite us. Yep. <laughs> we'll have one here soon. All right. Nice Thank job, you. man. Thank you. If you would like more information about our show, please visit us at ReadySetRenovate.net. I'm Tacker Auto with Florida Home Improvements, and today we're with Steve, and we're here at his installation. Uh, things are going really well today. They're doing absolutely a lot more work than I thought was uh, to do this, but yeah, doing a great job. Yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, how happy you were with how everything's were going, and what were some of the reasons why you decided to uh, move forward with the project? Well, I think you had some good people that uh, first came out here to present your product, and I said uh, we did some in interviews, and uh, we also did some research on the internet to look at who the products are. You have one heck of a warranty, better than the, the industry that I've seen before, um, and your reputation was good. We have a great relationship with several different manufacturers, but one in particular gives us a great warranty option if the homeowner likes that window. With custom window systems, the product is fully guaranteed for lifetime, and it's transferable to the next homeowner. That's that, that is important from my perspective, and that was the tipping scale. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons you wanted to change out your windows you had, you had discussed earlier was what you, you had noticed that it was the original construction and you were starting to have problems with it? Yeah, we were having some problems with it. It looks like the caulking starting to give way. And these were single pane glass when we first installed them back in 1978. And uh, the other part was we're tired of trying to put plywood up every time we had uh, a wind blowing over 40 miles an hour out here. So this gives me a peace of mind. You're good. Yeah. You ordered great hurricane windows. And I love the fact that we went with the bronze frame and it's fully guaranteed. If it were to fade or discolor, it's fully guaranteed. And also, you went with an energy efficient glass pack too. It's gonna to make your home a little bit more comfortable. Because we have a lot of glass in the property, and so that was really important for us to deal with that. Again, the reputation really preceded you, and that's one of the reasons we came with it. I really appreciate it. I know with our relationship with the wholesale clubs, we're able to come in with a, a competitive pricing that really helps to be, have that association with the wholesale clubs and provides us the great relationships with the manufacturers as well. Right. So we appreciate you choosing Florida Home Improvements, and I'm glad everything's going so well. Right. Thank you.